then is that it? I want to turn it around so the chimney is facing towards the wall over right there. When I was running my 5 inch gauge steam locomotive last, I had a problem with the steam brake cylinder on the locomotive. So what I'm going to do is upend the locomotive and take a look at the cylinder and see what the problem is. This time lifting the locomotive I got my son Aiden to help. This looks a lot more precarious than it actually is. The locomotive's quite stable in this position and it's not going to fall over. So here's the steam brake cylinder. This is the cross shaft which has the, um, uh, the handbrake on it and it has the, uh, the uh, rods leading down to the brake shoes. So this is the steam brake cylinder and the problem lies in this bypass valve here which allows steam to go through the cylinder, warm it up, and then as the pressure builds up in the cylinder, it closes, and then the cylinder actuates. And the problem lies with this not closing. It's just a spring-loaded ball valve there. The cylinder pushes on this arm here. So what I'm going to do is remove these two screws, remove the steam supply, and remove the bracket off the bottom here, and take the cylinder out and put it up on the bench. So let's go and do that. Make sure all the bits go back together so I don't lose them, which I have done. What I've decided to do is take off the two hinge set screws. I'll get at the steam supply pipe much more easily. Oh, these are pretty tight, which is a good thing. I've got the little stud out finally out of the, um, the pivot on the steam brake. Now I can move it a little bit so I can get at that um, connection. A little bit difficult to get the spanner onto. Finally got it out. Bit of a struggle that. There is the uh, brake, steam brake cylinder. Let's put that on the bench and see what's going on. Getting a little bit of the muck and oil off the brake cylinder. You can see it's quite a hefty piece. The actuating arm, the trunnions, which allow it to do this. That's the inlet here. And that is to allow steam to warm it up. Because it, uh, it'll be cold every time you use the steam brake after running for a little bit, this will be cold. It allows steam to circulate through the cylinder and pass out through this little screw here until it gets up to a certain pressure then this ball valve closes and then the steam actuates. And that all happens within a fraction of a second. The um, cylinder has a spring at the end of it so it self returns. It's got an o-ring in it. Uh, hopefully I don't have to take the uh, cylinder head off. But uh, what I need to do is look down in here because this is where it was passing the steam out of and not actuating it like the, the ball valves got stuck. So let's take this off. Here, you can see, there's the spring. You see the spring there, and you can see the little ball. There are the ball valves there. The spring, sits in here like that just protruding a little bit keeping the ball off and the ball rides on top of the spring and when the steam pressure builds up it sits against that face there and doesn't allow steam out what i'm going to do first is clean this out with a cotton bud no it's pretty clean so this is the seating surface I think I need to do a bit of cleaning up with this. Oh, I'm giving the ball, the stainless steel ball, a little bit of a clean. I'm not going to replace it just yet. So that fits on there. That is the seal. 
screen looks to be okay. I'm going to use a center drill in my hand just to clean round on the seat. The other thing I'm going to clean this with is a bit of wire wool, just delicately. What I'm going to do is hammer the ball into the fitting here to get the seat proper. One sharp hit should do it. So now that seat should be better fit, but the ball has to be thrown away because it's got a dent in it now. <clears throat> get another ball. So I make that 532s on the uh, calipers here. Let's see what I got in here. Quarter inch, quarter inch, 532s. Looks good. Always found these packages difficult to get open. One thing you must always do is throw away the ball that you've just punched into the bow seating. Otherwise you'll use it again, or I'll use it again. So what I've done is I've just made sure the spring is not binding at all in the hole it's in. It needs to be very, very light. And so I'm going to put a bit of this uh, Form A gasket sealant around. I'm going to be very careful. I don't get in the inside the chamber here. Nice black stuff. Uh, a little bit on the end of a screwdriver. Need very little. It's supposed to be a non hardening sealer. I'm a little reluctant to use Loctite thread sealer because that can get very tight. This one this stays malleable. So I think that's good. Let's put it back on the loco.